involved in. Investors who are involved in early stages of a startup can provide valuable mentorship and guidance. Okay, so here there are a lot of different languages that don't distinguish the V sound like we do in American English. So if it sounds like involved, so look look in the mirror and see if your lips are together like this, buh, buh, to an American, that's going to sound like a B as in boy. So it's really important to practice this sound because the V is very common. As you can see, there's like 20 Vs in the sentence below. So the trick is look in the mirror, make sure your top teeth are touching the, the top of your bottom lip in and it vibrates so if your teeth are touching your lips it's going to sound like the right letter or the right sound if your lips are touching your lips it's going to sound like a b b z so you check it when you're looking in the mirror this is where you get that physical check because sometimes you don't hear the difference that's okay i have a lot of clients are like i don't hear the di that's fine that's why i give you physical ways to check because even though you don't hear it, somebody else does hear it. And so by making sure the muscle, the, the placement is correct, is going to give you a more accurate sound. Involved. So it's not involved. Again, if you're in the pronunciation program, uh, I think it's the fifth master class is a simple past ED. There are three ways to pronounce the ED ending in American English. In this case, the E is silent and it just sounds like a D. So the V goes straight into the D sound. Involved. And then you have linking. Involved in. D, involved in. Good. More Vs. Investors who are involved in early stages of a startup can provide valuable mentorship and guidance. So notice how I read that. This is the second time. You already kind of know what the message is. So now you're forcing yourself to pause and it's unnatural like I pause more than I would in real life because you're trying to train yourself to understand the rhythm now the third time you're going to do the pauses but they'll just be much much shorter so in this case you are who are you talking to here mm, let's say you know what you are talking to your friend a friend who is kind of a startup and they're get, coming to you for advice and they're like, what, what do I do? So here you're going to have the tone of, I got you, right? So you're going to relax. You know, investors who are involved in early stages of a startup can provide valuable mentorship and guidance. So I would recommend reaching out to da, da, da. So even notice like my posture, right? I'm thinking like, oh, we're probably hanging out at lunch. I'm not as formal. So this is going to help you find your voice. The visualization is so that you don't sound like a robot every time you speak English. It's going to help you find your voice, just like in your native language. You don't use the same tone, the same posture when you're talking to your mother as you do your best friend from high school, as you do your boss or whatever the dynamic that, you know, like we, we have different voices for different situations. As a non-native speaker, you might have one voice for everything because you haven't explored that yet. And that's the next level for you.